I am obsessed with this set, and I know that I shared it in a quick video, but this is the real speed version of this sweet baby girl going into this beautiful magnolia set. As you can tell, every movement that I make is very, very gentle. She had a little piece of fuzz on her, so I removed that because I have left them in my images before when I'm editing and not noticed and been so upset at myself. Um, but as you can tell, she started to move, and I immediately put my hand behind her to let her know that she's safe and secured. You can tell that my other hand has never left her. I just want to make sure that she is safe and that she is happy when she's in this bucket, and she's so settled. I did have to move it because of the way that I posed her in my hand. Her face was turned a little bit too much for me, but because I don't want to disturb baby, it was easy for me just to rotate that prop just a little bit. She sat so beautifully into this set, and I'm so excited about it <laughs> because normally when it's a set that I'm really excited about, sometimes baby likes to give me a hard time, and I always tell myself that it's just that I can feel it. Like, they can feel how much I want it, so they're going to make me work for it. She did not. She was so sweet. You did see me move the bucket a little bit itself. She still wasn't turned enough for me, and since this was a bucket on this beautiful bed prop from Hello Little, I was just able to move her just a little bit. I got all of my shots, and she slept so sweetly through it all. She was the perfect baby, and I was worried about her because <laughs> she was a preemie baby. And with my preemie babies, I seriously schedule out so much of my day because they're unexpected. They're either going to be really great sleepers or they're not going to be really great sleepers. <laughs> I did ask mom to come get an image, so you just saw her phone there of her taking a sweet shot of her sweet baby. I am so happy to do that for my clients and that is solely because that phone image isn't going to look like my final product and I may or may not be able to get them an image as quick as they would like so I let them take photos. I actually think I took that photo for her <laughs> which is funny because if I see a phone out I'm like give me that phone let me get you a photo. Um, I didn't like the way that magnolia was standing straight up. So once I got all of the shots that I was happy with, I went in and adjusted that flower to make them more of what I would like. I'm super particular. I did take a flower and put it um, off to the side of my camera just so that way I could get florals in the foreground of my image. I think this adds a lot and it'll also save me a little bit of Photoshop time because I could buy an overlay to do this but I just didn't want to, especially since I had all the additional florals. That's all. Bye.